All right, guys. Um, this is the third video on setting up GitHub, creating, sorry, installing Git and setting up an uh, environment basically. At this point, we've successfully installed Git, set up our first GitHub account. So I just want to show you how you can set up your environment so that everything will be properly organized in such a way that I can easily access the files and see what you've done. Um, I observed that in the previous video, I was really fast and honestly, I'm a fast talker, so I'll try to slow down as much as I can. The issue is that sometimes when I try to slow down, I kind of start stammering, so please bear with me. Um, all right, so this is our first um, repository, Python with Tiger. So we have our readme. So what you need to do is that you can treat this folder as a normal folder on your computer but then when you're done with your work you can upload it to github so the first thing we're going to do is that uh, i expect your files to appear basically in like let me say weekly so we'll create a folder um we could call it week one for example so this, this is our first week whatever you are going to do for this week is going to be in this directory or folder so we call it week one and then we open so say say you you uh you know we, we expectant you ex we expect we expected that for this week we are you are going to watch all 56 videos um of python and for each video we expected to you be expected to write um the code in the video and then yeah basically expected to write the code you are going to see in the video and then you are going to save it in this directory this is and then all your exercises also for this week, you expect it to name them and then save them here. So for, let's say, for example, you have 10 exercises. So we could have like um, exercise one, you can name it like, okay, let's say, you could name it something like exercise one, maybe that's py since it's, a, it's going to be a Python file. So it's exercise one that's py, exercise two that's py, exercise three that's py. And then depending on the code also, maybe you could say um, video one that's py, that's the code for the first video then video 2 does py for the code for the first video or you could even put a little bit additional information maybe the video is talking about um strings or it's talking about numbers or it's talking about object-oriented programming so you could do something like a video one object-oriented programming that's py so basically this is what i'm talking about let's say um for, for example let's you want to create the first file for exercise so you could do like right click new text document so you write something like this. So let's say it is let's say it is exercise one. So you do something like this: exercise one dot py. So basically, it's going to be like our first exercise for so something like that. See yes. But currently, we don't have Python installed on this computer, so don't worry about it. I just want to show you how you can set up the environment and all. Well. So you could just you could open it with anything. Let's say open with um. Assume you don't have Assume you don't have, um, not, sorry, you don't have Sublime or anything, you could like open with Notepad and then proceed by the like Notepad. So I'll use Sublime, I already have Sublime installed, so I'll use Sublime. Alright, so we could do something like this. Um, Office Python file, so we could do something like this. Print, sorry, um, print hello world, yeah. Ctrl S. Aha, uh -huh. so at this point, you could open your terminal, sorry, um, you press and hold shift to open Windows PowerShell or Command Prompt in the directory. So you see, we are in Python with here week one, that's why in the week one directory. So at this point, assuming you've done anything, you could just git add the name of the file, what's the name of the file? Um, um let's see exercise exercise yeah first up exercise one dot py so this is the name of the folder exercise one dot py so if you press enter now it will actually add sorry it will index add the file to the index so uh to the tree whatever so basically you add the file and then you commit it and then you push it just as i've shown in the previous video well this is what is expected so 
all your work for week one is going to be in this directory and you should just try to name it properly so that it's easily recognizable by someone who doesn't know what you intended to do so week two you will like you have a new folder week two and then all the work on week two will go here so when you are done when you're done with what you're doing you get add get commit push so basically what do you have add commit push and that's all so yeah I think for now that will be all thank you for watching i hope i was not too fast seriously i'm going to work on that